Bacterial vaginosis can be diagnosed in many different ways. A specialist would take a clinical history examination, microscopy and pH into account. Self-tests are now becoming available and many women are starting to use them. There's a convenience of doing a self-test at home rather than having to go to a clinic and most of those are based on measuring the pH. The pH will be high in somebody with bacterial vaginosis or trichomonas and tends to be normal in women with candidiasis. If you have the typical symptoms of a fishy smelling unpleasant discharge and a high pH you can be reasonably confident that bacterial vaginosis is very likely. Conventional treatment is with antibiotics uh, but increasingly we're getting concerned about overuse of antibiotics being bad for the individual and bad for society with resistance developing. So there's increasing interest in approaches that maybe support the lactobacilli and allow them to restore the natural balance. There's a lot of interest in physiological approaches to treatment rather than antibiotics. These would include lactic acid, which is the natural acid in the vagina, prebiotics, which feed the good guys, and probiotics, which are more of the good guys being put in directly. We think that washing practices are very important, so not using soap, particularly not any perfume products, not douching, just washing with plain water, maybe showering rather than bathing, it can be helpful in preventing it from coming back. When should a woman see her doctor with these symptoms? I think if you've never had it diagnosed before, it's useful to get a proper diagnosis made and advice on treatment and management. Pregnant women, particularly if they have a history of a bad outcome, will benefit from having it properly treated if they have bacterial vaginosis. And if it's frequently recurrent, not responding to treatment or very troublesome, again, I think it's worth seeing a specialist.